And so here, for instance, what if we have 9 times n minus 3 uh, plus 4n? How do we simplify that as much as we can? Well, we can't do the n minus 3. These are unlike terms, so we can't really do that. But we can distribute the 9n to every term there. So 9 times n is going to be 9n. The minus sign comes along for the ride. And then you have 9 times 3 here. 9 times 3, we're going to write it as 9 times 3. And then the plus 4n comes along for the ride there. So how do we continue? Well, the 9 times 3, let's just do that. So we'll have 9n. 9 times 3 is 27. So all I'm doing is that multiplication plus 4n. Now look at this. Which are the like terms? Here we have 9n's. Here we have 4n's. So the variables match, so we can actually add those. It's positive and positive, so it's going to be really easy. 9 plus 4 is 13 n's, so you have to carry that in along for the ride, and then the minus 27, the minus sign comes from here, the 27 goes there, that's the final answer. Can you do any more with this? No, you can't, because here we have an n, here we don't have an n, so those are unlike terms here in the answer, we can't do anything further with them. Alright, so that was kind of a warm-up problem. Uh, this one will be a little bit longer. What if we have 9, a plus b inside parentheses, and then we have plus 4, and then here we have 3a uh, plus 2b. Now, what do we do? Again, uh, we can't really add a plus b. Those are unlike terms. We can't really add 3a plus 2b. Those are unlike terms. But we can distribute the 9 in, and we can distribute the 4 in. So let's go ahead and do that. 9 distributed in is going to give you 9 times a, which is 9a, uh, plus 9 times b is 9b. And this comes straight from multiplying these in like that. So you're using that distributive property. Now, the plus sign here. Now we have to work on the 4 being multiplied here and here. So the 4 times the 3a, I'm going to write it right now as 4 times 3a. The plus sign comes from inside here, comes down. And then you'll have 4 times 2b. So now we have to do this multiplication. So we'll have 9a plus 9b plus. Now here we have 4 times 3 times a. You can multiply the numbers, giving you 12a, and then we'll have 4 times 2 is 8b. Now we have to ask ourselves, do we have any like terms that we can combine together? So we have 9a, uh, and we have 12a. So those are like terms, because we have an a here and an a here. So you can just add the 9 to the 12. Those are both positive numbers. 9 plus 12, um, what are you going to get? You're going to get 21a's, and then separately, you have 9b and 8b. These are like terms because the variables match, so that'll give you 17. Those are both positive numbers, 17b's. Now, are these able to be combined any further? No, they're not. So it's 21a plus 17b. These are unlike terms because the variables don't match at all. So here is a great example of combining everything you know. You have the distributive property, and then you have you know combining like terms, and so on. So now the next problem is going to be doing basically the same exact stuff, but it's going to be a little more complicated uh, because we'll have some negative numbers thrown around in there. So what if we have 6 times r plus 5 um, plus 9 r minus 2 and then minus 4r? Again, what do we do first? We can't really add these. They're unlike terms. We can't really add these. We always try to do what's inside the parentheses first, but we really can't. So we distribute the 6 in, 6r and 6 times 5. That's going to give you 6r plus 6 times 5. And then we go working on this. The 9 gets distributed into every term there. So the 9 times r is going to be 9r. Now this minus sign is here. So this minus sign needs to come down and play also, and then you have 9 times 2. You have to make sure and pay attention to the signs of everything. And then finally we have the minus 4r hanging off the end. So what you're going to have is 6r plus 6 times 5 is 30 plus 9r minus 9 times 2 is 18. Remember we always do multiplication before any addition or subtraction. And then we have minus 4r. And this is the answer, but we always try to combine like terms. So we say, well we have a 6r here Right? And then we have a 9r here, okay? And then we also have a 4, a negative 4r there, but let's just do one thing at a time. Let's combine this r with this r and let's see what we get. Okay? Because we're going to do one thing at a time. So 9 plus 6 is 15, right? So what you're going to get is 15. R has to come along for the ride. We still have the plus 30. Basically, all we did 
is we are combining this term with this term right there. That's all we've basically done. Uh, the 30 comes along for the ride, then we have minus 18 minus 4r. Now you can do these in any order you want, you know. Um, so you try to go left to right, you have you know 15, but then you can't really add 30 to it. Um, but then you notice, okay, well I have another term here that's a like term, 15r, and then you have negative 4r. So this is like subtracting 4r, 15r minus 4r. It's a positive minus 4, 15 minus 4 is going to give you 11. 11 what? 11 r's. And you still have the plus 30 minus 18. And now that you've got that, you can just subtract those numbers. So you have 11 r, 30 minus 18. Um, 30 minus 18 is going to give you 12. So the answer is 11 r plus 12. That's the final answer. So you see, it, it could be tricky if you're not careful. You have to distribute everything in. Then you have to look for like terms and you have to combine them and you have to make sure and keep the sign straight also. Um, so just to make sure that you're adding and subtracting your negative and positive numbers correctly. Now we're going to have one final problem. What if you have 7 times C plus 2D plus 8 plus 3 times 9C minus 2? Again, we look inside the parentheses first. This is a C, this is a D, this has no variable. Those are all unlike terms. This is a C, this is nothing, so no variable, so you can't combine those. So we're going to distribute the 7 in to every term there, and then we'll distribute the 3 in to every term there. So 7 times C is 7C plus 7 times 2D, going to the middle term, plus 7 times 8, just going in to the third term like that. Now we're going to work on these two terms. The 3 times the 9C is 3 times 9C. And you have to carry that negative sign down because this negative sign is going to go between those terms. 3 times 2 will be written as 3 times 2. So we've successfully distributed everything in. Let's go ahead and simplify as much as we can. 7 times 2D is going to be 14. Multiply the numbers. The variable stays there. Uh, 8 times 7 is 56, so that's going to go there. And then you have... 3 times 9 is 27, but you have a C, so that has to stay in place, and minus 3 times 2 is 6. Now you've made a lot of progress. you made a ton of progress because you have all of these terms here, all the multiplications done. So now you look for like terms. You look for like terms. So here you have 7C, and here you have 27C. These are like terms because of the variables. And here you have positive 7 plus 27, so you can just add those together normally, and you're going to get 34. 34 what? 34 C's because the variable has to come along for the ride. So that takes care of this term and this term. Those terms are done. Now we look and see what other terms match. Well, we have a 14 D. We don't see any other D's anywhere. So we just write it down. That's going to be 14 D. Okay. And essentially I put little dots under here a lot to tell me that I've already handled it. Now I have 56 minus 6. That's just a straight subtraction. 56 minus 6 is going to give you 50. Whoops, let me go ahead and make the same, the correct color, uh, plus 50. And that basically takes care of this term and this term. So I've, I've, I've handled all of the terms there. That's the final answer, 34C plus 14D plus 50. So you just have to be careful when you do this stuff to make sure that you get your signs right, make sure you know how to add and subtract negative numbers, and that you're only adding like terms together. That's really the whole point of this lesson. So make sure you understand this, solve everything yourself, and in the next section, we're going to finally turn our attention to learning how to multiply negative and positive numbers, which we call real numbers together, multiply. And later on, we'll do division as well. So follow me on, and we'll continue learning algebra step by step. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.